Hi everyone, this is Mundan Nagavan and this video we are going to see how to create the user snippet because we are going to create lot of test cases or let's say some of the code snippet we always going to use. So for that reason we are going to see how to create the user snippet and how can we improve our productivity. Let's go to the VS code from the previous session. In previous session we have discussed that we are going to create the test case in this format. And every time you don't need to type entire test case like this, you can make the core snippet or let's say user snippet. How to do that? Let's go to the file, go to the preferences and go to the configure user snippets. And we are going to create for TypeScript or you can create for the global level also. Let's create for TypeScript and here you can see the sample. For example, you can create something on the print to console. The prefix you make it as log, then what are the things you want to make the actual comments that you can make it here. Here you can see something called dollar $1 and dollar $2 which is nothing but wherever you want to enter the inputs like a variables. For example if you are using the console.log you will be entering the value which has to be logged into the console. So that's the reason the first variable will be the dollar $1 and second one it goes to the second line that's all. The similar fashion we are going to create for our test case. Let's say this is our template right. Let's try to imitate same. Copy this. And since we are going to continue in the array, just make it as one more thing. Since it's commented, it's not required. Let's uncomment all these things. And here we are going to create the playwright test case. That's fine. And let's try shortcut PWT playwright test and here we will have the template ready. Let's copy this and however it, it's not required to repeat again which is nothing but the test is the method and first one will be the string which will be giving the description or the test name and second one will be your asynchronous program or asynchronous method which will be having the default page object so that you can use it inside your code. Let's copy this and go to the typescript.json Let's make it here. Let's make it dollar to next one. Now here I need to enter the value. Before that, already we have the double quotes outside. Again, if you are using the one more double quotes, just make the backslash to make it as a part of text. And the same way we don't have anything else. Then first you need to enter the test name, right? So there I will put the first variable. Then let's have some spaces or let's say some new line characters and we will be entering our code. Let's say dollar $2 and let's have some more new lines and we will remove this line. We don't need this one and that's all. Just save it. Now go to the demo spec. Now you just type PWT enter. The cursor will go to the first the test name test1 and tab it will go to the in middle of the method. So here you can start writing the test cases. So in the similar fashion, you can create any number of shortcuts here, code snippets, and even you can create a specific about the TypeScript, specific about the JavaScript, specific about the HTML. You can create any kind of user snippet so that when you have some test cases or some kind of coding, you can repeat the same shortcut and you can understand. And if you want to see something, you can go to the code snippet and see what it is and if you want to change the prefix you can change it here. For example let's say I want to change it to TT and save it. Now if I go to the next line I just remove this one and let's type TT enter again it will be the same. So whichever the prefix you can make it and whichever the code you want to make it and we have the dollar symbol just to make sure this dollar one will be the first variable that means that the cursor goes to the first one there and dollar two will be the second cursor when you press the tab button and remaining things you can use whatever you want. So this way we can quickly create the test cases any number of test cases. See you can create any number of test cases and you can start writing the code directly rather than typing from the scratch everything. So this is all about this video so thanks all thanks for watching and have a great day.